Hello, I am Ganesh, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today I will show you what to do if you encounter an error using MySQL dump on Amazon RDS for MySQL or MariaDB. The video covers three scenarios with MySQL dump in the same order as mentioned in the article. Let's get started. Let us start with an error observed while creating a dump from an RDS instance. As you can see, I have already logged into the instance when using the master data option with mysql dump to export data you might receive an error such as couldn't execute flush table with read logs as observed in the screen the root cause of the error is that master data option executes a flush tables with read log which requires super privileges that the master user doesn't have in rds to resolve this error you need to remove the master data option generally this option is used to get binary log coordinates however when you remove this option you won't be given an exact binary log position in the MySQL dump. To work around this issue, you can take the MySQL dump when your application isn't performing writes, but doing so leads to downtime. There is another way to resolve this. You can take the MySQL dump from an Amazon RDS read replica. Let's check out the read replica method. As you can see in the screen, I've created a read replica of my instance and I'm connected to it. To start with, you will need to stop the replication by calling the RDS stop replication procedure using this command. Then exit the MySQL session using the exit command. Further, you can generate the dump without master data option. After the dump file is successfully generated, you can connect to the instance again and then record the binary log position using the command show slave status. You can resume the replication or delete the replication instance if it's not required. By doing this action, you'll now have both sets of the content, the MySQL dump file as well as the binary log coordinates that were recorded with the master data option earlier. Now let's move on to the next section. Another error observed while creating a dump from an RDS instance is got a packet bigger than max allowed packet bytes when dumping table. This error occurs when the MySQL dump commands requires a packet that is larger than the value of max allowed packet parameter that is set for your RDS instance. In such a case, you can increase the global value for max allowed packets for your RDS instance using the parameter group or configure the max allowed packet in the MySQL dump command as can be seen in the screen. From the terminal, I will now run the MySQL dump command with the max allowed packet parameter configured as 1 GB. The dump is now generated successfully. Let's move on to the third scenario. When you observe error 1227 while restoring a dump to an RDS instance created by MySQL dump utility, you should check the line number mentioned in the error message in the dump file and then analyze the command written at that line to proceed further. In case the command causing the error is an object such as trigger, view, function or event and the target RDS instance has binary log enabled you will need to enable log bin trust function creators parameter as a prerequisite. However, if that's not the case, it could be possible that the command is trying to create an object with a definer attribute user that doesn't exist in your DB instance, or you try to create an attribute user that doesn't have the required super user privileges. You can see in the screen that the import has failed with error 1227 on line 61. Now, Let's check the statement at line 61 in the dump file. You can see that the line contains a definer with user root and a host as localhost. To fix this issue, you can either remove the definer line as follows, or you can rename the definer user root to the master user of the RDS instance and then replace localhost with person tile as the host as seen on the screen. If this isn't the case and the culprit command is a native engine command which requires super privileges that aren't provided to the RDS master user, you'll need to remove that command. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.